Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite series here on YouTube, Guess the Elo, where I analyze my Twitch subscriber games live on stream and then try to guess their ratings. My lawyer has advised me that for this episode in particular, I must warn you that I am not liable for any brain cells that you lose, or if you laugh so hard, you end up throwing up. Let's go. E4! Oh wait, Gotham subscribers got the black pieces. I should flip it. E4, D5. Beautiful move. So black is a principal player playing knight to f6. Uh, clearly a proud owner of the Gotham Gambit's course with the black pieces. Uh, or just literally invented this on the spot. D4. Uh, this is clearly not an owner of the Gotham Chess Gambit's course. Or this person has it, but hasn't reviewed it yet. Because after D4, the move is bishop to G4. This is known as the Portuguese Gambit. One of my favorite variations here is, goes f3, bishop f5, and for example, c4. And then after e6, d e6, knight c6, e f7, king f7, black is better. In fact, black is almost winning. Black is down two pawns, but this is known as the Portuguese Gambit. And the idea is that you play bishop to b4, rook to e8, and black is just simply better. And um, yeah, the only way that white can hang on is by playing moves like knight to e2 which no human in history will play so yeah you know good stuff portuguese gambit is very vicious All right c6 not a bad move takes takes okay now we have a exchange Karo khan pawn structure because the e and the c pawns got traded so it's like e4 c6 d4 d5 takes takes so no c no e pawn except the knights are gone i don't know who's better here i actually want to say white oh no no kaipadal what about your bishop what is this? What about your bishop? Okay, I mean, not bad. Good, good. Okay, what about your bishop, though? Damn. These dudes trading more than, you know, United States and Mexico. My god, queen d6. What about this light squared bishop, though? Okay. Oh, look at that. I mean, this guy's just going straight for mate here. Okay. All right, f Oh. Okay, chat and YouTube. Why is f5 such a big mistake? Why is f5 such a big mistake? Doesn't look like a mistake. What's wrong with f5? Looks like a good move. Looks like you take space. What's wrong with f5? So, it's not that e6 is weak. In fact, you can make the argument that e6 is really well protected. Because bang and bang and boom and bang and boom. You could literally get the entire family of pieces to guard the e6 pawn. It's because of e5. It's because with this move, you've created, an, you've created a backwards pawn. Look at the evaluation a move ago. About equal. In fact, the computer likes f6 patrolling all the squares and maybe trying to play e5 in the future. For example, in a best case scenario, black gets this. Black is completely fine here because black can play bishop b7, bring the rook to the middle, push in the, in, in the center, right? But by playing this move f5, um, you've severely weakened the dark squares. And this bishop is another problem, which is the, the issue with being trade happy. Please don't take that pawn. Oh, for the love of... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 maybe white just bought the bluff. Um, yeah, so of course white should not be playing this. White should 100% just put the rook on the e5 square with c3 and rook e1 and just pressure. Just pressure, 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 pressure. Are backwards pawns always bad? Uh, I mean, no, but in this case it's very bad because white will have all the play. But now white gives... What? Yo, this man didn't want to hang a rook. He wanted to hang a queen. And the other guy guarded. The other guy thought this is a fork. This guy was like, oh my god, I'm getting forked. Oh my god. Okay, and now you obviously realize your queen was hanging. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Nah, nah, nah. You stage this. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all stay. Nah, nah, nah. Chill, B. Yo, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And you know the craziest part is white is still winning. White is still win Oh, now white's not winning anymore. So white was winning here because of all the pressure, right? The weakness of the king, kind of the pressure. But it's, it's very strange, like, how you're supposed to win this. You're supposed to win this by sacrificing. 
and with this pin in mind, you sneak into the back rank. So basically, it's the fact that white's got all this pressure, but the long-term back rank weaknesses will allow for infiltration, and there's no way to guard the position. Now, these guys are most likely like 200. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, the rook. Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Oh, now easy, 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 easy. Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Clean up. Bro, you have pawns, bro. Move the damn pawns, bro. But, but, but you, what, 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 man can't choose. Man's going to paint one side of the room. Now he's going to the other side of the house to paint the side that's already painted. Bro, this guy got uh, paint to paint the living room. Now he's painting the kitchen, which is already painted. Oh, God, and here the game is over. Here the game is over. I don't know by time or just chess.com aborted this game because this is the worst game in the history of mankind, chess.com was like, bip? Nope. I'm not gonna lie. I, I actually... I, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Black blundered, but black blundered once. No, black blundered twice. Black blundered the queen for like seven moves. That just I'm just counting that as one blunder because I like the guy. You know, I don't know who's playing with the white pieces. I know the person playing with the black pieces. So you know when your friends do something really stupid, but you just give them a pass. If you saw someone do something stupid, um... You know, uh, you see someone do something stupid, you might, you know, say something. But it's your friend, so you're like, you know what, you're my friend. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to just sit you down, smack you a couple times, etc., etc. Um, now, I know the person playing with the black pieces, so that's how I feel right now. I don't know the person playing with the white pieces, so I am not going to lie. I'm going to say five, 600. Um, But to be honest, like... Uh, uh, yeah, five six hundred just seems right. Like it, 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 it doesn't make sense that or, or like four, like four fifty is the cutoff. Like four fifty, like four fifty is a hundred percent the cutoff. Um, or it's two like nine hundreds that were just super high, like they were on the good stuff. Like I'm talking like, ha <laughs> bro, I forgot. Yo, that's crazy, man. I just... I forgot pawns could go diagonal, dude. <laughs> Yo, I gotta stop blazing and playing chess, bro. <laughs> oh. Um, all right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say, like... I'm gonna say, like, five, six hundred. Bro, they were a th They were nine hundred and a thousand. Yo, these guys were 900, bro. These... What? It was a... It was a, Okay, it was a three-minute game. Okay, it was a three-minute game. Fair. But... All right, now let's guess the caps. Let's guess the caps. Um... He said it was not that... That... He... Um... I'm going to say the caps was like less than 20 probably for both of them. Less than 30 for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they played a few good moves. <laughs> oh, well, the thing is that every time white didn't take the queen, it was considered a blunder. That's the thing. Every time that white didn't take the queen, it's considered a blunder. And every time black hangs the queen, it's considered a blunder. Wow. Brutal. That was crazy. Wow, that was good. That was good content. I mean, you know, it, because everybody for this series submits games where they win. Um, and so, you know, they play really well. Their opponent plays like poopy buns. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. But, uh, wow, that was, that was really good content. We, we all need games like that. We all need games like that. I, I appreciate you submitting that game, uh, allowing me to, you know, take like two years off my life with the stress levels and uh wow yeah i'm i'm probably gonna need therapy of some sort after this like i'll probably go to like you know talk talk space the online therapy you know just be like i just saw one of the worst you know people going on there for you know legitimate things you know depression um stress anxiety and i'm just like yo i just saw the worst chess game like of my life uh i don't know what to do um what? You paying $250 an hour for this? Um, 
Wow, that was pure content. That was unleashed pure violence and content. I appreciate that. Uh, now all of us are going to collectively forget about that game, uh, or else, uh, you know, it'll just it'll cause uh, it'll cause lack of sleep. And all right, this next game is another uh, awesome supporter of the channel. Uh, shout out to Mr. Uh, Chipotle Sensei, absolute beast. Had some Chipotle recently for the first time in a long time. Felt good. They have cauliflower rice now. Did you guys know that? Chipotle's got cauliflower rice. It was very tasty. G6, C4. Uh, good setup by Black, King's Indian. Okay, so this is just a blunder because you can just play knight to e4. Um, this is just a terrible move by white. Uh, this is just a fork and you just win the bishop and Black is just very clearly better. Uh, white never played knight c3. This is about punishing mistakes early on, right? Um... Okay, I mean, you know, they're going for the battery. All right, now you play knight e4. Okay. Uh, that's just a huge blunder because, yeah, knight g3, beautiful. You should not be putting your queen in the line of sight of the enemy piece. Like, just because it's veiled by one thing does not mean that... Um, I never said it wins the bishop. I just said you get the bishop. So you get the two bishops. That's it. Get the, you, you, I, I'm sorry. I meant to say you get the bishop. So you have two bishops. Chat, relax. All right? I relax. All right? You clearly get what I'm talking about. You get what I'm talking about. Jeez, y'all some goons, man. Y'all are like the kids in the class that like sit in the back and like correct people in in in, in the smallest of situations because you like had a day where you got a 98 on a test. All right? Relax, you 700 bozos. Knight g3 beautiful move. Bishop d3. Takes, takes, knight h1. Beautiful. Oh, and white just blunders knight f2. I mean, this is a good game of chess right here. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Takes. Wait, what is this? This is the whole game? You submitted like a 15-move game? But why did you... But why did you submit this? I... What a... This is... You, I mean, I'm, listen, you're probably the first player in history to win two rooks and 14 moves. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I don't think there's ever a per, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that any other player in history has lost a rook, two rooks faster than this. Like, the, 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 this is impressive stuff um, from random noob over here. Um, oh, I don't know. This wasn't, this wasn't. That last one, listen, it, listen, it's hard. That first game set a really tough uh, bar for the rest of this video. But you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess the rating. I'm going to guess it correctly. I'm going to say that your rating from the opening stage, not seeing knight to e4, white playing the strange move queen d2, you playing c5, uh... And then white blundering this. <sighs> High 800 to mid 900. High 800 to mid 900. Here we go. White is rated 1230. No! White is a subscriber! <gasps> white has my flare! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, the worst nightmare has come true! People always say it's their worst nightmare to end up in one of these videos as the random noob. Oh no! Oh no, it was one of mine! Oh my gosh, it's like when you two kids fight and one of the- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, 1200. Oh my god, no, 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 no! No! I'm disappointed. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm. It, this was content. This was also content. This. This is the first time. Uh. Wow. Wow. I. I. I don't even. I don't even want to look at this anymore. I. I. I don't want to admit that one of my subscribers could have done that. Uh, well, then again, Chipotle Sensei provided us, you know, the immortal game of 2021 to kick things off today. So, um. Wow. Wowzers, Bowsers. That was crazy. Uh, geez Louise, that was nuts. Uh, E4, uh, game three, all right, Vienna, Vienna. Oh, this is the second game of the day. We got bishop to C5. 
and uh, well, they just blunder the d5 pawn. Um, yeah, so like, you know, you're supposed to play like this because you're trying to, you know, c6, d5, or d6, and then knight g4. Yeah, this is just hangs a pawn. I'm, I'm not gonna, that's just a... Oh, Chipotle Sensei is, is uh, donating. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, so knight g4, f4. Brosef? Bro. What the bruh Oh wow Okay Okay Oh that's either genius or you accidentally hung your queen Oh 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 and when the dust settled white was up five pawns Oh four pawns four pawns four pawns Wow Wow Uh Okay Um Okay, um, okay, okay. Yup, yeah. What? Okay, so here's what happened. Black hung a pawn and then proceeded to play knight g4, and white had to not play the typical Vienna move. On a serious note, a lot of y'all be playing moves just because you know the Vienna, you're supposed to go f4, right? Y'all just be doing that. But you're not thinking this through because this is the threat. You gotta address the threat. So, for, for example, you gotta go here and, you know, uh, trade. But what happens is that white plays this aggressive queen move and then there's just complete pandemonium, loses the queen, and then is like, well, this knight is trapped, so I'm gonna win this knight, and wins the knight. Now white is up a bishop and four pawns, which is, you know, good enough material. Good enough. And now they trade, very nice. And now the knight is trapped. And uh, now you just go to... Tr oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Good, good. Nice technique. And now we will begin the March of the Pawns. Yo, why are you not moving your pawns? All right, we slowly move. Don't copyright me, YouTube. All right, A and H... And in this position, Black resigned because Black, I mean, to be honest, Black probably should have resigned like in this position when they were playing a Gotham subscriber, but okay. So the most, the most meat of the position we have is, uh, you know, we've got like this, right? We've got the meat of the position right around here. And then White spotted all the right moves and then found this, which was not a great move, but it allowed a big simplification. It was not 6700. Nah, y'all y'all tripping, y'all tripping, not 6700. Um now the non-direct approach throughout like this this mid game, like this 90, like what is 92? No one You gotta gotta go hunt the king down. I'm gonna say like a thousand to eleven hundred, maybe. Like a thousand to eleven hundred is what I think. There's no way it's twelve hundred. I feel like uh, I feel like Black did not play that well. I feel like White didn't also like play twelve thirteen. I feel like White blundered, but then found this Queen H five move because the Queen was hanging. So that was kind of a forced move, and then was like, "Well, I can't take this, but I can take that." Yeah, I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say like mid one thousand, mid one thousand. Here we go. This is not the game. Yeah, a thousand, and it was a blitz game. It was a three minute game. And probably white is much higher rated in rapid. Oh, wait. White is 1300 now in blitz? Or is this bullet? Wait, what? This is an old game. Oh, white sent an old game. White's actually 1300 now. God damn. Yeah, like white, white, yeah. So 983 for black and 1015 for white. Yeah. No, white played clean. Yeah, for three minutes, this is, this is actually very well done. To come up with all of these ideas... Credit, yeah, I mean, most people are sending in long games, but, no, nah, that's... Y'all played well. Well, by y'all, I mean the guy with the white pieces. Shamorin donated $25, said, If the king takes the queen, will there be knights or bishops in nine months? I don't know, man, but thank you for the donation. I do appreciate it. Um, I, I'm not required by any sort of international law to address bad jokes with donations, but... 
How trippy would it be if someone sent me a bullet game? It wouldn't be trippy whatsoever. I would probably still be able to guess the ELO. I just think it's it's useless to send in bullet games, but I, I can't control what you guys do. Um, you know. Anyway. Um, all right, game number four. Gotham subs got the black pieces in this one. We have E4C6. We've got a Karoken. Karoken. Knight c3, knight f6, bishop out to g5, bishop to f5. Okay, very good. Here, takes, takes. Black is playing great. I love this. I love this. Okay, uh, knight c6. I don't know why we're going to d7. When there's just a very easy square to go on c6, but okay, whatever. Pog. Okay, pog and frog. Okay, pog. Yeah, I mean, th this, this is a sign of like a 1100. This is the sign of an 1100. Oh, yeah, I guess there was bishop takes h2. It's kind of funny. Yeah, like for the last like six moves, like for example, there was bishop takes h2. That's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah, okay, I mean, I didn't even see bishop h2, so I, I don't, and the point is king h2, you have knight g4. It's a little Greek gift, and then you take the bishop. I, well, I mean, I didn't see bishop h2 because I'm an idiot. Um, this guy didn't see bishop h2 because he's probably like 1200. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm just stupid. I should have seen bishop h2. In fact, he had it for quite a long time. Now, this is a sure sign of a player that just has no idea what they're doing. I mean, this is just this is just the usual get into the middle game and push pawns one square and hope for the best. Probably going to take. Yep. Probably going to take that too. Yep. Uh, now, rook c8, please. All right. That's uh, not a very active square. Oh, boy. Now knight is coming in. Oh, I'm glad you played that move because if you move this rook, there was this fork. So this... Nice, kick the knight out, very nice. Oh, wow, that's a very creative move, because after it takes, takes, pin. So knight here. Oh, stop taking everything, go here. Unquestionably, the move is b4. Look, you have to control the enemy squares, right? And yeah, b4, there it is, stop engine move. Because that way you can pressure this pawn and no one can move forward. You have to go b4. Stop snap taking everything, people. You snap take at some moments and... Oh boy. And see, they, you know, I like this. Black actually playing very well. Oh my, that's a gangster move. This is a beautiful move to try to go h4 and win control over the e4 square. Is, is he successful? Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Now you're playing like a GM except you hung your rook. You were playing like a GM for a couple moves there and then you hung a rook. Now you are not playing the fork. Oh my god, but you're playing really well. Oh, oh, just take the damn knight, buddy. You got two horses. You got two horses pressuring this knight. Just take it. Apparently the, apparently the top engine move is h3, but you got lucky. Takes. Oh, now of course you're going to... I did not think that you were going to play that. I did not think for a second that you were going to take on g2. I thought you were going to just take back. Now they can't stop you from queening. Yo, did the older sibling take over the controller? What the hell was that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, you're killing, you're killing the person. What the hell is this? Bro. Whoa, 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 the older sibling popped off. Yo, wait a sec, what happened? I swear this happens like half the games and guess the ELO. Like, person plays like a, like a bibbity boopity the first 20 games, and then for the last 20 games, they play like a flippity floopity. I mean, I don't even... You know, it's the, it's the Magnus Carlsen, uh, Carlos Magnuson conundrum. Like, I, at first, you know, 20 moves, you're trading all the pieces. You're playing like a poopy, poopy face. And, I mean, I don't even, I, you hang a rook. It turns out to be a fantastic strategic sacrifice. I mean, I don't even know. Um, bro, I, I mean, oh, God, oh. Oh, oh, this game is putting me to sleep, man. I, I don't... I gotta drink more coffee. I drank like three sips of coffee this morning. Like... 12 to 1300? Maybe in the 1300s? If you're any lower than that, I mean, I'm gonna eat a shoe. Like, I don't even... I don't even know, bro. Like, I don't even... Yeah, okay, I'm glad to see 1480. 1480, 1450. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all both played like some stoners like the first 20 moves though. Like, I don't know. Y'all just played like people, like you trading everything, like like all this like maneuvering, like 
trading everything, literally everything. I swear I thought like 12, 1300, even with all the trades. But then you, then you, then you, all of a sudden you were like, wait a minute, hold on, I'm 1480. Like, I don't know what the hell is this. Like, what am I doing? Why am I playing like an 1100? I got to impress Gotham. Then you didn't take a night. You didn't take a night, but yet somehow you knew that this was the best move. You got lucky though. I think you just didn't take the night. Maybe not. Maybe you're genius. And you took on G2. Now here you realized. Here you realized. And, uh, damn. God damn, 1480. You, you, you really stepped it up the later half of this game. Very well done. Very nice. 1480. Good stuff. That's what we like to see, but, uh, yeah, damn. Nice. That was a good game. You that, la that la last part of the game. Here's the thing. When you're 1480, you know why he's 1480? It's because the last part of the game you played like a 1700, and before that you played like a 1200, and it averages out. Some 1480s from start to finish they play like 1480s. Okay. But you played the first game like a 1200, then you played like a eight, like a 1700, and it averages out to 1480. That's why you're 1480. That's why. Because for some parts of the game, uh. You know, yeah, shout out to Mav uh, C squared in the chat. Uh, we got Ziv5 in the chat saying, are you Jewish? Uh, the question that I am just simply asked the most more than any other question. Why doesn't anybody ask me if I'm a walrus? Like, why is no one curious if maybe I have any similar genetic makeup to a walrus? No one's interested in that for some reason. Jeez. Why don't you guys stop asking if I'm Jewish and asking if I just like juice? Like, goodness me. Am I an elephant? I don't know. E4... Final game of the day. Now, I know for a fact this is not one of my subscribers because uh, I don't recommend the Rue Lopez. I mean, I recommend the Vienna and I recommend playing, you know, Bishop C4 with early D4 lines in the, Go in the Gotham Gambit's repertoire. The fact that you're playing a Spanish makes me think that you're like a pretentious 1300. Uh, personally, I'm just going to say this right now. No 1300s which play the Rue Lopez. That's not how you pronounce it. It's Rue Lopez, but... Uh... Or, 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 or you're like 2,000. So here we go. D4, F6. This is actually a line. This is a line. White is playing the exchange Rue Lopez, the Steinitz defense. This is one of the ways that Black can play this position. Uh, as dumb as it looks. Uh, we have a person in chat who's been trying to type curse words. Like, repeatedly. Uh, and keeps getting auto-modded. And it's just really funny watching auto-mod completely beat up this guy. D5. That's not a good move, actually. White wants to keep the position a little bit more open because otherwise black locks the structure and then plays f5. So d5, takes, takes. Now black doesn't play a good move. Bishop to d7. Um, uh, knight to c3. Knight to e7 attacks the queen, tries to kick it out. Um, all right, we'll be going for subscribers mode for the remainder of this episode. Queen to a5. Yeah, this is a sign of two people who have no clue how to play the Rue Lopez, but they're trying to play the Rue Lopez. All right, nice, nice. And black is just better. Black has emerged from the opening with an advantage uh, because black has a better structure in the center and has the two bishops and has more open lines. And also white played the Rue Lopez, so white immediately gets you know 20 points taken away. C5, but immediately white black plays a terrible move, putting all four, all four, five, six of the seven pawns on the dark squares. This bishop is the worst bishop ever. And white can just play c4, b3, and just clamp everything down. And white castles queenside directly into the line of assault here. Oh my goodness, this is... Okay, th this is completely insane game. So first of all, black should unquestionably play bishop 2e6. Like, if black lands the bishop here, and the pawns are kind of prickly and don't allow knight to... G like, look at this. You just laser beam this side of the board. Bang, 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 bang. But you don't allow the bishop to come to e6, and now the queen is there, and this is actually not so bad. But now black should just play a5, a4, etc, etc, or c4, don't take it. Uh-oh, and by allowing white to infiltrate on the light squares, which you severely weakened a couple of moves ago when you played the move c5, you basically, this was a death wish on the light squares, and then when you didn't play bishop e6, you negated your light squares, and now white is infiltrating on the light squares. Wait, did white have taken on e7? I don't know. Bishop c4, that's just a free, that's just free. That's just free. Oh, wow. What was bishop to c4, boss? What was bishop to c4? My lord, oh my goodness. Okay, just take the bishop. Who are you trying to impress? Just, just, just trade pieces when you are winning. 
trade pieces when you're winning. What you got? You got mate here. It's mate, or you want a queen? Yeah. You know, and the, the crazy thing is that you know Black is gonna wh 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 Gotham subscriber here with the white piece is gonna leave this game going. I love the Rui Lopez. I'm so good with the Rui Lopez. I always win with the Rui Lopez. You were dead in this game from a positional standpoint. You showed me this game that you understand as much as the, uh, about the Rui Lopez as this container of Starbucks coffee. You and this container have the same fundamental understanding of how to play the Rui Lopez, okay? Um, and this is why nobody rated like 2,000 or lower should be playing this opening, because it's a deep, strategic, maneuvering opening with a lot of different nuances and pawn structures and decisions to be made of pawn breaks and trades and color complexes, and it's just too dense, okay? It's too dense, all right? It's too dense. Y'all are trying to learn the go-go plata technique of jujitsu. Meanwhile, you don't even know how to shoot a takedown. How are you going to go for the go-go plata if you don't even know how to shoot a damn takedown. What are y'all doing? Y'all trying to do some weird arm bendy stuff? You, you can't even get the opponent to the ground, which is the fundamental basis of the entire martial art. Goodness. Isn't, isn't Gogo Plata also one? There's Omo Plata and a Gogo Plata. Or am I just wrong? Let me see. Gogo Plata. Yeah, it's a, it's a Gogo Plata is a, a foot choke. Bro, it's a foot choke. Y'all trying to get a foot choke. Y'all can't even take the person to the ground. That's not how it's pronounced. I don't, listen, I don't care, you know? Goodness, I'm doing my best. Anyway, um, a lot, I mean, a lot of stuff to dissect here because the truth is it's such a dense opening, right? Um, objectively speaking, neither player played any blunders. Like, well, black played bishop c4, but like, okay, one blunder is gonna happen, right? Like this, but it took 24 moves. To be honest, it was much more of a strategic catastrophe by Black to allow this infiltration. For White to even have found Knight H4, Knight F5, I mean, I'ma say like, oh man. I mean, I'ma say... I'ma say like 14, 1500, honestly. Like, this was, not a, this was not a bad game. It was full of strategic mistakes, but it was not full of like horrible blunders. Like, black not playing bishop e6 is inexcusable. But a subtle bishop move to just kind of patrol the light squares, like, I don't know what, at, what elo we can expect that. Um, I'm going to say 14, 1500. Um, anyway, here we go. 14, 1500. Yeah, uh, you know, these guys are 1100. Now this person's rated 1260. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt. But yo, y'all can't be playing this opening, bro. You can't. Hey, listen, my man here from Turkey, Dennis, let me be the first one to tell you, you need to stop playing the Rui Lopez. If you play, if you play the Vienna, you will easily, easily get to like 14, 1500. Far easier to play, far easier ideas, bro. You, 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 you can't be out here battling folks in the Rui Lopez. You just can't. I'm gonna just tell you that straight up. I'm actually very curious about something. I'm actually very curious about something. Denise and Tastan, yeah? Denise and Tastan. Check this out. I'm gonna go to Explorer. Other players. Plays E4 a lot. E5. Oh, you do play the Vienna. Oh, you play this 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 Vienna. Okay, so with not what let's let's see. Knight f3, knight c6. Bishop. Okay, so you 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 just play whatever. You don't have a consistent repertoire. Sometimes you play Scotch, sometimes Rue Lopez. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. So that yeah, so we got, you know, you're playing a lot of little bit of everything. Okay, that that makes sense. It's not your only weapon, but you're not, you know. Okay. Fair. 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 Uh how do you do with uh, E4, E5, Knight C3? All right, well, you're playing, you know, you're playing f4, which I don't recommend. I recommend bishop c4, d3, f4. But what about this? All right. Not doing so bad. Wait, how are we... Oh, you, well, you're, not, well, you're not playing the critical move. <laughs> you got to play the critical move e5. You've, not, you've never played the move e5. And plays d4 and knight f3 in this position. <laughs> so, there you go. That's how you work on your openings. I got good hopes for Dennis. I mean, he's, you know, he's playing the, playing the right stuff, but a little bit too professional, I would say. Um, but uh, it was a good game. Good game.